Hello, everybody. So this is my third testimony for um, 12 days of testifying to God's goodness and to his miracle working power. Um, my first video was about a car accident when I was four years old and how God healed me, how he protected me, one, but how he healed me uh, from the injuries of that wreck. My second one was how he protected and shielded my husband and I from another car accident um, by drunk drivers, both wrecks, excuse me, was by um, drunk drivers. But today, for my third testimony, I wanted to get um, real deep and um, real personal and um, let you know that God truly is um, El Shaddai. He is God Almighty. Um, some of you may know, some of you may not, but I lost two sons. My husband and I lost two sons as babies. Um, our first and second born sons, they were a year apart, a little less than a year apart, Noah and Christian. And um, for anybody who's ever suffered a loss or who has ever lost a child, um, there's no words to explain the depth of the pain that you experience. Uh, my first son, Noah, it was the first grandchild on both sides of the family. My husband and I had been married five years. Um, we had dated through high school. Um, I was teaching. I was a public school teacher. Um, he had a set, you know, career working in traffic engineering um, in Salem City. And, you know, we had been trying for a while to have a child, and God had finally, you know, blessed us um, with Noah. And um, the pregnancy seemed to be going well. Um, and then I started feeling, you know, having bad feelings and, you know, sharing with the doctor that I just felt like, you know, something was wrong or something was going to happen. And of course, my first pregnancy, they was like, oh, you're just nervous. And um, I went for my 38 week checkup, which was two weeks before my due date. And um, I was having contractions, but they didn't find a heartbeat. And so um, I was informed by doctors that my first son had passed in the womb, which was devastating, beyond devastating. Um, I can talk about it now because God has healed and delivered me. Um, you know, the pain of losing a child is is hard. And um, I it seemed unreal. It seemed like I was living a dream. Like, um, I, it's like you're in the clouds. And, and there's moments every day, it's like a hole is in your heart. And you just have to pray and ask God to fill it. And um it was rough. That's all I can say is that it was rough. But then we tried again, and our second son, Christian, um, same thing happened to him. So um, we were two weeks again before my due date, and I knew something had gone wrong without getting in-depth into the story. Basically, um, he had passed in the womb, too. So I had to deliver both babies um, vaginally. Um, knowing that they were lifeless. So when you go to have a baby, any of you all who are parents who've had children, you're anticipating the arrival of your child and you're waiting, you know, you're waiting on a delivery, you're waiting on to hold that baby in your arms, you're waiting to hear that initial cry. And we did not hear that, not once, but twice. Um, having to have, the, you know, go through labor and having those pains and then to be able to um, hold a lifeless child that's yours, your baby, your child, your sons um, in your arms, holding them lifeless. Uh, I thought I was in hell. I said, this is what hell is like. I'm in it. And um, it was a devastating time. That was the lowest point I have ever been in my life. I wanted God to take me. I even prayed and asked the Lord to take me um, instead of my son, my second son, Christian. I said, God, take my life and give him life. Um, is to know that your child is gone or, or you want to trade your life for your child. And anybody who is a parent who loves their kids unconditionally the way God loves us, you know what that, what that feels like. You would do anything, you know, to protect your child. Um, and I did, I was gone, um, four minutes. Um, they doctors got me back, but the Lord sent me back because he had more for me to do. He had purpose, um, for me here on earth, but, what I want to say is that God is a comforter. Um, God is a healer of our minds and our hearts as well. I shared how he healed my body. 
Um, but God is a healer of our hearts and our minds. Like I said, I felt like I was in the pit. And David said that um, the Lord brought him out of the miry clay. He he placed he brought him out of the pit. He placed his feet upon a rock. And I can truly say that that is a true um, statement because that's what he did for me. Um, he, he placed my feet upon a rock. Today, one of my friends sent me a song that she had been listening to talking about reckless love. And it was basically just saying like how the love God gives us is ridiculous. And um, the young man gave a testimony of how he was just a lost soul. But he said how God carried him on his shoulders. And that's the only thing that I can say this, that called, helped me to survive was that the Lord carried me on his shoulders. He picked me up. I was so low. I wanted to die. I wanted to die every day. I cried, I cried, I cried. But at the same time, I stayed in God's word. And people asked me, they they were like, how are you making it? How are you surviving every day? Like, who's giving you strength? God is giving me strength. The word says that his grace is sufficient. His strength is made perfect in our weakness. It was no way in my own power that I could have survived such a devastating thing. And burying two kids twice um, a year apart. Only the Lord can give you the mental stability to survive that. So I want you to know, to stay in his word, what I did was I surrounded myself with people who love God. I stayed in God's word every day. I prayed. Instead of drawing away from God and cursing God, I drew to God because I know that he's the author and the finisher of our faith, and I know that he makes no mistakes. And, and um, you know, I did cry and say, Lord, you know, why did you allow this pain to happen to me? But at the same time, it took me to say, why me? Before I could really, you know, um, just really thank the Lord that I even had the opportunity to even carry those children. Um, and, and my life was still blessed. I had to look at it in that aspect, but it took me some time. But what I did was I prayed. I prayed and I stayed in God's word. God's word is there's healing in his word. And we have to be mindful of that. And we have to know that we have to trust and believe that that there's power in God's word. Everything that we need, we have to find. I needed healing. I needed restoration. So I had to find scriptures and things that were um, related to those areas to help me when your kids pass and the way that mine did, you feel shame, you feel guilt. You know, I felt like something was wrong with me. Um, and the Bible says that God is a lifter of a hung down head. And here I am. I'm here to tell you about this. I'm here to talk about it without crying and busting out into tears. And I can really say that the joy of the Lord has been my strength, was my strength, <laughs> is my strength. Um, and I just want to talk to anybody and tell you, you know, if you have suffered a loss, if you've lost a child, if you've even lost a loved one, but definitely if you lost a child, it can be the worst place that you've ever been in your life. But God can feel that void. He can feel that pain. You just have to give it time and you have to pray and you have to stay in his word and you have to put yourself around people who um, will pray for you and pray with you and people who will speak life into you and over your situation. I, I wasn't watching TV. I didn't watch the news. I wasn't doing anything that would bring any kind of negativity to my life. I surrounded myself with positivity, positive people. I stayed in the word and I started, you know, the Noah Christian Community Center. And now we have Noah Christian Academy. I put, I invested my energy into something positive. So that was something that helped me to heal. So find something positive to do. Give to somebody else, even in the midst of your pain. And when you're helping somebody else struggle, who's struggling, while you're struggling, God will bless you. He will strengthen you. He will keep you. So that is my testimony. I want to just tell you that he is a deliverer. He's a healer. He's a comforter. He he kept my soul. I never took one pill. I never any, uh, took any depression medicine. I never took anything to help me go to sleep. Um, his word was my medicine. God, my prayer was my medicine. I laid prostrate. Sometimes I would go in Noah's nursery and literally lay on the floor for hours and just cry and travail to the Lord and just play worship music. And and the the Bible says, those who sow in tears shall weep, reap in joy. It also said that God holds, he stores our tears in bottles. So just know that God sees your tears and and he's storing them up and he's going to bless you. He's going to strengthen you. And there's more to this story. There's a second and a third part to this story. But I just want to tell you to stay in carriage and to know that you can survive and that you can make it. But you have to put God's word into effect. And you also um, 
have to surrender. You have to get to a place to where you want to allow him. When you say, Lord, I cannot do this of my own. One of the things I would say is not give me strength. I would say, Lord, give me your strength. So I just want to tell you to stay encouraged. God is a blesser. He's a healer. He is a comforter. He is a deliverer. He can heal your brokenness in any capacity. This is day three of Testimonies of God's Goodness. Be blessed.